the Jets are just making move after move after move. The New York Jets select Quinnen Williams. All the additions that Gangry makes, and there's about 12 deep of them. Look, I'm a big Quinn and Williams fan. I mean, we can go right. I was in Nashville when he, when the second the Niners said Nick Bosa, the party started in Florham Park, as far as I'm concerned. I love all these guys. Here's the facts about the Jets. They got the best offensive free agent. They got the best defensive free agent. They got the best player in the draft. They got a young, cool quarterback from USC. It is the most exciting Jets roster in close to a decade. It is an awesome time. Well, it's Sam Donald's second year. It's also first year with Adam Gase, which I think is also going to skyrocket. And listen, we saw flashes of it. I mean, we saw some of the things he did against Detroit, some of the things throughout the middle of the season where he said, this is it. The Jets are good for the next 15 years. Second year in, and if you know Sam, Sam is about ball. I mean, there is not a lot of nonsense. He is there to watch film and execute. And now he has this offensive guru slash genius in Gase. Huge, huge jump. I mean, it could make Mitchell Trubisky look like small potatoes. Big season for Darnold. He, he takes coaching as, as well as anybody I've ever been around. You know what I like about Gase? I like that Gase doesn't care what I think about him. Gase is gonna Gase. And I think you need that in New York City. You know, there was a guy named Bill Parcells who did not care what you thought about him. He's got big shoes to fill. He's got big standards to go to. But I don't want someone who's going to try to be nice and try to please everybody. Isn't it very New York, even to its core? That l Listen, I'm Adam Gase, and you're not, and this is my show. I actually like that as a Jets head coach. Robbie Anderson, goodbye. I love watching Robbie Anderson play football. Love it, because he's a blur. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's one of these classic the Sean Jackson types, or if you're a baseball fan, like a like an Adam Dunn or a Jim Tomey, like I'm gonna swing for the 700 foot home run, and damn if I don't hit 52 of it. It's almost a lost thing in this era to see the deep threat, and I love it. The second they throw it to Robbie, you know something exciting is gonna happen. I like watching him play.